Are you looking for the best 3D printers? In this video, we will look at some of the eight best 3D printers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number one, FlashForge Adventurer 5M. The FlashForge Adventure 5M is the cheaper of FlashForge 2 5M Core XY 3D printers. It's somewhat bare bones in that kinematic realm, being an open frame machine with no auxiliary cooling fan, but sells for just under $300 and delivers excellent prints. Don't take its relative bare bones nature to mean it lacks the ease of use features that have become standard, though. The Adventure 5M comes with auto bed leveling and Z offset via a sensor array in its print bed, features networking capabilities either over Wi Fi or via Ethernet, and is ready for vibration compensation, input shaping, meaning you'll have all the auto calibration you'd expect from a modern Core XY and can fire prints off over your network. Though the Adventure 5M is an open frame 3D printer, the frame is ready for a DIY enclosure. FlashForge offers free enclosure design files and sells an enclosure kit with a transparent door and sides to finish it off, but getting an auxiliary fan installed seems to be a little trickier with no officially supported mod. Number 2. Creality Ender 3V3 SE The Creality Ender 3V3 SE sets a new baseline for cheap 3D printing, blending a familiar form with a beginner-friendly fully automatic bed, leveling, and self-offsetting to give effortlessly perfect first layers. Its standard features run to a 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters build volume, with a Sprite dual gear direct extruder feeding filament to a hot end that tops out at 260 degrees Celsius. Printing through the full height is served by dual Z-axis motors, ensuring stability throughout. In our time printing with the Ender 3V3 SE, we found it to be a little workhorse. While it lacks the flashier features and firmware of today's pricier machines, it runs Marlin firmware out of the box. It offers a fuss-free printing experience that's a clear evolution on similar machines from previous years. The removable magnetic print bed can be a bit fussy to return to position after a print, and there's no filament sensor, which is an odd omission these days even at this price point. But all in all, a simple yet refined cheap 3D printer. Number three, Chidi Tech X Plus 3. For its $600 price tag, the Chidi Tech X Plus 3 gives you a clipper-based machine with a fully enclosed 280 by 280 millimeters build area. It uses a Core XY motion system and input shaping, allowing it to print up to 600 millimeters per second in some situations. Speedy acceleration and a high flow hot end let it put plastic down at a rate that's on pace with today's top speed touting printers. The X Plus 3's party trick is an actively heated build chamber capable of heating to 65 degrees Celsius. Indeed, this printer is friendly to warp happy materials, performing favorably against similar style printers that lack actively heated chambers in testing. A filament dry box is included as standard mounting to the back of the printer and serving as the default and fiddly, but still removable, spool-holding option. Compared to many modern enclosed-style printers, the X-Plus requires some initial calibration, which is a bit old hat, but we found it to hold its offsets, and generally, it remained a hands-off experience throughout our printing. Overall, it's a handily complete package that doesn't disappoint for the price tag. It's not the prettiest printer, Unless lots of plastic and an overinflated look are your thing, we don't judge, but it does put down plastic with speed and uniformity, which we absolutely rate it for. Number 4. Uniformation Geek 2. The Uniformation Geek 2 is a mid sized printer with oodles of design touches to make using it a tidier and smoother experience than other low cost resin 3D printers. It may not offer cutting edge resolution like the Photon Mono M5S or Mars 4 Ultra featured elsewhere in this list. It's still an infinitesimal difference to the eye if you ask us, but it offers the luxury of a quick-release print plate and slide-out resin vat, plus a hinged lid for convenient access to the build chamber. The Geek 2 also boasts a killer feature in its temperature-controlled heated resin vat. A crucial component of assured 3D printing success with resin is that the resin temperature 
is sitting pretty around 30 degrees Celsius. Print can work below this, but it's one heck of a catalyst for reliable performance to have your resin warm. The Jeek 2 lets you select from one of three temperatures for your resin vat, and the printer will calculate in a heat up period before your print commences. The entire system is automatic and baked into the printer's software, making it an effortless print success system. It produces fabulously crisp prints thanks to its midsize 8K masking LCD. And if your budget can stretch further, it can pair with complementary post-processing stations designed to fit the printer's build plate. You can, for example, take the plate straight out of the printer and lower it into a recess in the company's ultrasonic cleaner for efficient, hands-off cleaning. Handily, the Jeek 2 is supported by popular third-party slicers, including Voxelden's Tango, Lychee, and Chittabox Basic. The provided slicing software is based on Prusa Slicer, which gives excellent support structure generation, so you may well be comfortable sticking with that instead. A 12K LCD upgrade and Wi-Fi dongle for the Jeek 2 are available, augmenting the printer's capabilities. Number 5. Anycubic Photon Mono M 5S Anycubic Photon Mono M 5S is a different breed of desktop resin printer, introducing print-boosting smarts the likes of which we've only really seen in filament 3D printing over the last couple of years. Packing a print plate gantry-mounted sensor, the M5S can detect peel force, resin level, and a vat bottom to augment your printing experience. In testing, we didn't find it to be flawless. Few are. But that this system pulls off even half of what it does makes the M5 as our preferred choice over all the other desktop 3D printers we've experienced lately. LL of the above is in a compact frame. To boot, the Photon Mono M5S dimensions are barely any larger than the likes of the Frozen Sonic Mini 8KS and Photon Mono 2. Both machines we consider to be small 3D printers, yet it punches out with a 200 by 123 by 218 millimeters build volume. Rinse speed is a focus. The M5S comes with ACF film for its resin VAT interface layer, allowing for quicker than typical layer changes. It also packs a 12K 10.1 inch masking LCD, which puts extremely small pixels at its disposal for super fine print resolution. It's as fine as you can get. Anycubic has gotten the Wi Fi connectivity of the printer to sing, with a seamless link between the company's software and hardware. You can also keep tabs on things using the company's surprisingly slick mobile app, which give you diagnostics of the printer, guides, and tips, plus a community aspect with models you can pipe to the print at the click of a button, all without bombarding you with adverts or notifications. It's a quick and compact printer with layers of features for its $400 price tag, certainly one to consider if you prioritize convenience. Number 6. Elego Mars 4 Ultra In our opinion, as long as it's still supported and continues to drop in price. The Elega Mars 3 is the budget resin 3D printer to beat. But if your budget stretches closer to $300 than the Mars 3 sub-$200 price tag, the top spec variant of its successor, the Elego Mars 4 Ultra, isn't a bad place to park your cash. Ramming more pixels into roughly the same build area shrinks the pixel size down to 18 microns. If you value the bleeding edge of resolution possibilities in LCD-based 3D printing, then this is it. While this should translate to the crispest of detail and undetectable voxels, provided you print with a suitably fine layer height, some users report the ACF film used as an interface layer in the VAT for higher print speeds muddies the detail, taking that resolution advantage over other systems off the table. At casual observation, we can't tell the difference. Deprint volume is a switch up on the Mars 3, ringing in at a longer, narrower, and shorter 153.36 by 77.76 by 165 millimeters. You don't really lose much over the Mars 3, so this is really more of an adaptation on Elega's part to fit the new 9K LCD used rather than a shift in the printer's form. Number 7. Anycubic Photon Mono M 5S the Anycubic Photon Mono M5S appears elsewhere on this list, both as our resin 3D printer under $500 pick and beginner's pick. If that doesn't say enough, then let's recap. It is a mid-size build volume 3D printer 
with an admittedly below average build height, 218 millimeters compared to the Saturn III's 250 millimeters. It is nevertheless within our definition of being between 8 to 12 inches on the diagonal across the build volume. OU get a 12K masking LCD, giving it one of the finest resolutions available today, and paired with a fast resin, the ability to print exceedingly fast. At full clip, you can print a full volume print in a matter of a few hours. The standout element of the M5S is its print plate sensor, which serves multiple purposes. For starters, it replaces the Z-axis end stop and basically gives AirZat's plate leveling you don't need to do it ever. Then there's resin level measurement to the degree the printer will tell you if it doesn't think you have enough in the tank for your print. Finally, it has peel separation detection, which will alert you to the absence of the expected snapback jolt of the print separating from the resin vat release film. Without this, it's safe to assume the print has failed and the printer will pause itself for you to confirm and then cancel the print. You'll admit the system wasn't 100% perfect in our time testing, but for the hit rate it does offer, it's a welcome development on the desktop resin 3D printer and a feature-rich midsize pick. Number 8. Frozen Sonic Mega 8KS Resin 3D printing is messy. With huge print plates and resin vats that need two-handed operation, large format resin 3D printing has the potential to be even messier. The Frozen Sonic Mega 8K S goes a merciful way to make this mess manageable with a user-friendly design and pre-calibrated build plate, providing a ready-to-run experience right out of the box. The Sonic Mega 8K S sports a flip-hinged lid that sweeps atop the printer, replacing the original Mega 8K S double doors that spread wide to take up an enormous footprint. This helps the Mega 8K S keep a surprisingly compact footprint for its 330 by 185 by 300 millimeters print volume. CF film comes as standard on the Sonic Mega 8KS resin vat, which allows you to print fast at the expense of shortening the film and LCD's lifespans. What fast means in this context is the transition speeds between layers, having the printer stages of movement happen quickly without putting stress on the print and putting it at risk of ripping apart. OS print, there's a conveniently placed hook to hang the print plate from to let resin run back into the vat before you whisk the print away for cleaning. In all, it's an easy-to-handle large-format resin 3D printer that's highly convenient for large jobs.